Hi, my name is Nate Chamberlain, and this video is going to walk through doing alternating row shading for a classic view SharePoint list. It's a pretty handy feature to have. Uh, you could use it on multiple lists just by having one single script. And as you can see here on my blog, uh, it's five lines, very simple. Um, so uh, you don't need SharePoint Designer or anything necessarily to do this. You could use that if you prefer it. Uh, but all we're going to do for starters is just um, copying the script. You can find the URL to this post in the details of this video. Uh, go, so go ahead and copy that small script. And then open up Notepad or a similar text editor. Paste that in. File, save as. And then just call it whatever you want. Like I'm going to do rowshading.css. Save it to my desktop. And I'm done with that. So now I've got the script. Or hopefully you've got the script too. Um, so, like I said, this is going to work in a classic view list. So, if you have a list and it looks like this in modern view, we need to change that. Uh, to do that, go to settings, go to list settings, go to advanced settings, and then at the very bottom, we have this option to switch it to classic experience. Uh, and that's going to make sure everybody who's looking at this also sees this uh, alternating row shading that we're putting in. Uh, you'll want to make sure on your list um, that you don't just do a classic view for yourself. So anyway, now here we are. We've got the list. We're ready to put on the script. So uh, to get the script loaded to our SharePoint site, we need to go to Site Contents. So in Site Contents, go to Site Assets. And then I've gone ahead and added that file that we just saved uh, to my Site Assets, so it's here. Uh, so go ahead and do that. You can drag and drop it, or you can use this Upload, Upload Files. Uh, so once you have that, we need to get the link for it. Now, uh, because of the new sharing experience in SharePoint, uh, we can't just do copy link. That by default is probably going to just give you a link that people that work in your workplace can get to. We just want the raw um, URL for that. So click that drop down at the bottom like I did and do people with existing access. And that's just going to give you this plain URL. That's all we need. So now go back to that demo list and we're ready to add the script. And this is what you're going to repeat for every list that you have. Uh, so we're in Classic View. We're going to Settings, Edit Page, Add a Web Part. And then over here under Categories, do Media and Content. It's already on Content Editor. And Add. All right, there's our Content Editor. Do this drop down, Edit Web Part, and paste that URL we just copied right here. You can see mine has these extra characters after the .css. If yours does too, just go ahead and take them out. We just need the name of the file. So side assets, row shading, .css. We're going to hit OK there. And we can already see immediately that the row shading is working. Uh, so go ahead and do stop editing. And there you go. So go ahead and repeat those steps for every list you want to see that on. It's really nice to have that one place where the script is stored in case you want to change the color of the shading. It's going to sh change that color on all of the lists that you've put it on. Um, but if you just have one list that you want to do this for, instead of doing a content editor web part, another option is to do the script editor web part. Uh, and that you can just paste directly from my blog post into the script editor, and you don't need to save a file or upload it to your site assets. Uh, so that's all there is. I hope this was helpful and appreciate your time.